All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do about $150 worth of a hobby box versus $150 in retail on this side and see which one comes out victorious. Now, I know this is kind of, it's gonna be an interesting one because I really like this product right here, uh, Mosaic and football and basketball. I really don't like the playbook, but that's just because uh, it hasn't been very good to me. But uh, on this side, we have an interesting box, though. This is um, status basketball, and I honestly don't know much about this one. There's a couple of uh, boxes that you could get from that one, I think. This one, I think, is a T-Mall. Um, I ended up getting it online. If you guys want to buy some, I'll link them in the description to like eBay and stuff, because that's kind of where I get a lot of my secondhand product. Uh, to be honest, it's just the easiest that way. But we're going to get into this one last. We're going to go ahead and start off with my least favorite and hopefully work our way into something decent here. But um, I got this one. This is a Playbook Mega from Walmart. Retail is 55 on these. I think maybe 50 in store. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but online, they're 55 45 from Walmart. This does have an auto or mem. I've only gotten mems thus far. Um, five packs, four cards per pack. And then this one does have orange parallels, two of them, and other rare inserts, it says. And it also does have the opportunity for some uh, NFL Shields 101s. Never seen something like that. I really want to do a playbook hobby versus retail video, but I just, I mean, the hobby box looks very similar to this. I think it's even the same amount of packs. It's just high risk low reward but probably higher reward than you get from this side at least so i'll lower this down a little bit more all right so this is four packs of playbook not to be confused with the other play one i got a sticker on my finger hold on one sec i got a sticker on my finger from the stock x tag i took off i bought the megas from stock x sometimes i'll get them from ebay sometimes stock x so ooh, we got a numbered one Alvin Robinson to 49. That's the first I've got something like that. And it's a gold uh, foil on the top. Look at that. Interesting. So there it is. 19 to 49. Alvin Robinson. Robinson. Nice. Alan. I said Alvin Robertson. Uh, totally wrong. Uh, but there we go. That's a Bears hit right there. Next, you have a, a Trey Lance next up. And then we have a couple rookies right here. So I'll put those ones kind of in the same. This one feels like the Thick Boy. So I'm assuming this is the Mem on here. And there it is right there. All right, there's a Mr. Brady. And then one Anthony Schwartz next up right here. Um, Browns, Bears, see me if that's how you say his name. Javante Williams next up, and then we have uh, Antonio Gibson uh, for the orange parallel there, which is one of the two. Again, it's a pretty minimal rip here. There's not a lot of stuff going on here. There is a uh, Barkley right here in the, like, whatever parallel that is, and it looks like we got five cards in this pack right here. Seth Williams, and then another rookie, so not anything crazy, crazy, but, I mean, at least we got a number to 45. That's that's actually kind of crazy, to be honest. I wish it was somebody that I um, knew more about. But there's a Burrow, Matt Ryan, and then we do have a Blitz CD. So we got five. Okay, that's right. Five cards per pack. That's right. Elijah Moore and then a Peyton Turner on this one. So a couple other dudes there. I'm not sure about this Alan Robin, uh, Robinson. Let's check out center stage and see what they say. They'll say it is. I mean, for the auto, it's 15-ish. So... Not Justin Fields, $500, I wish. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, center stage is pretty brutal. It, most of the time it doesn't work. But um, And there, I'll do one last try on this one. Sometimes it probably helps to like remove everything from the back background. But anyway, that's what we have on this side. I'll put this stuff over to the side. And nice to see a, a random hitter. Now, I could have done basketball to basketball but i figured it'd be more fun just to mix it up for those people that uh, are wondering why i did um add some football to the mix honestly it was just looking through my bin of cards and just trying to figure out like, what, what can i do a video on because i really at the end of the day i just wanted to open that and see what we had inside so i was like maybe i'll do like a retail versus 
hobby battle. It's something I want to do more of on this channel. Uh, so I figured this would be a good opportunity. Now this is just a regular blaster, but I shouldn't say regular blaster because this one was one of the ones that came from Panini's website directly. And if anybody lucked out, quote unquote, lucked out on these ones, $45 retail for these things. So not a cheap buy, <clears throat> not a cheap buy at all. Quite expensive, uh, but 45 bucks a pop. And I bought a handful of them just so I'd have some extra ones to rip. So that is the story behind that. We have the Antonio Gibbs, Gibson right there in the, um, next I'll put you over here, the green. And this box, I forgot to show you, but there really isn't anything special about this. Uh, I say that and I'm like, wait, what did I get? There is a rookie here and a God game. And then uh, Amon, Amon Ross St. Brown. I guess that guy's pretty good too, actually. But um, just for those that need to see it, Mosaic Parallels in here. There's four of them. And then this is some of the options. So obviously Honeycomb, we're looking for Genesis. Those are the best top tier. Silver, Mosaic, uh, Green, and then Genesis, Honeycomb. There's no other colored parallels in here. So a lot of the other colored parallels come from all of the different retail formats. Fat packs and... Um, you know, in uh, hanger boxes, two different types of hangers, one from Target, one from Walmart, and then two different types of Megas. They all have different types of colored parallels for those that didn't know. And so this one only has um, the uh, the green joints right here. So nice color match on that one. But uh, but yeah, it's kind of crazy that blasters don't have as much love as some of the other products. But uh, I don't know. So for the most part, I've had the least amount of luck probably from blasters, but um, but it is what it is. You know, it's just because there's less colored parallels. That doesn't mean you don't get anything good. There's a Brady, Josh, and then a Tremble uh, over here. And so we're going to keep rolling through. But $45 for these. I'm still ripping Mosaic, man. I really enjoy this product um, for football and basketball. But for football, there's a Tylen Wallace right here in green. Uh, but for football, has been really extra nice to me from the, uh, the hit perspective. Basketball has been okay as well. But it's just only because I've opened so much of the product. I will be do doing more though for those wondering on the channel. So subscribe if you guys want to see more. There is a Stefan Gilmore and a JC Horn. And is this a variation or not? So variations, if it is, it will say V right here on the top. So this one is not, but nice looking one uh, with a Pat's dude on it. Um, but I have the, um, I have the uh, Fanatics exclusive ones coming. So I will be doing a video with that. There's Devonta Smith debut, probably one of the better ones. Matt Stafford, nice looking card right here in green. Dax. And then now we have the last pack. So I will do um, a comparison between these and then the uh, Fanatics exclusive, but it sounds like there was a mix up with the Fanatics exclusive. I'll have to dig into that when I get them and see and see what the deal is. There's a Trevor Lawrence right here, base uh, and a true base, whatever, uh, on the mosaic. So that is inserts and rookies and stuff. Nothing too good on this one, but um, I mean, decent ish hits oops i put all these in the wrong spot i'm gonna move these over here in the in the bulk and then i'll move these over the side this will be the stuff that i kind of recap over here at the end do i have anything to put up there not really um i just i guess some of these guys might be okay but not really worth putting up but we will check out this guy so i bought a couple of these from StockX and then some from ebay and stuff as well and they've done pretty good. This is my third of the four that I bought. The first round, these are the Target exclusive ones. So I wish I got more of these from Target. I did get a couple when they dropped, luckily. Uh, I ripped all of them on the channel and stuff. Um, but these things are, are loaded, man. So I did get a Curry to 10 fluorescent green out of one of these because you can see fluorescent greens. Number 10 down here. <clears throat> Silver and then um, nine mega box exclusives because these ones actually have the yellow, um, the reactive yellow on these. Then you can also get Genesis as well. You can't get Honeycombs from here. Honeycombs is only football, uh, but they do have uh, the reactive yellow and then the Genesis as well, which is the big hits. Then you can also get the, the fluorescent greens uh, down to 10 on here. So if you get a reactive yellow with the inserts, it will be to 99. And then if you get it uh, fluorescent it's to 10 and I got a fluorescent bang on mine which is, was nuts to a curry as a super dope card but um <clears throat> well my other couple packs that I opened from this lot was ridiculous I got a genesis in one and a and another green fluorescent in a rookie on the second one so really crazy to see 
I uh, always love to see some stuff like that. But let's see what we get this time around. Will we be as lucky or not? There's a Curry. There's a Wiseman base. De'Aaron Fox. And then a Gian Giannis. I, can, I always say Giannis. You guys hate me for that. Eight packs per mega box on this side. And in my opinion, these things are a good buy because price points aren't super crazy. I don't want to say they're close to 65-ish or so a box if you buy them in a lot. And if you think about it, man, it's not it's not super bad. There's an Okoro um, debut, nice look, and then a Joel Embiid right here in the True Mosaic. Um, I'll throw this one up just because it's a nice looking card here. But um, but you figure like 65, 68 ish dollars for this product versus buying Donruss like megas for 50. I mean, this I'd rather spend an extra 20 and get something you actually really want. And I'm for me, like I'm fortunate enough that I'm able to do both, but like it's really nice to be able to get something that you like um, and have it be under a hundred bucks a box, which is obviously, I mean, a hundred dollars is a crazy ceiling, but. Um, there's a Chris Paul and then a DeAndre Aiden. So yeah, that's just my two cents. I mean, I, honestly, prices of these will eventually probably go up, but the fact that they're pretty affordable makes it really dope for me to be able to to get some of these and see what you know I can look at and potentially get when I'm opening them. Um, I really honestly also like to do, there's a Hayward and then a Dominique Wilkins in the green. Um, I like to open the fast break stuff too, though. I mean, honestly, if I'm going to do this, I'd like to do more hobby-ish sort of stuff. So that's what I've been trying to get into and dabble with a little bit more also. So, um, but I like to do retail and and uh, hobby so we can show you guys a little bit of uh, each of them. And there is RJ Hampton. Nice looking color on that one. But we have three more of these. These are kind of thick white packs too. I forget how thick they are. I mean, there's eight cards per, so you get some decent... Three, four, and there's Gary Payton, five, Nico, Hunter, and then um, this dude right here, Baca, in the silver. And two packs left, and then we'll go into the hobby and see which side did better. I mean, honestly, it's always uh, maybe, like you might get something decent. There's a Joe Harris and Fox. Sometimes you get strokes and you don't get anything really that good. So it is what it is, you know. You can't expect every box to be uh, full of bangers. But, uh, I mean, you always hope for it. I, I get that. I feel that for sure. There's a Maxi debut. Pritchard. Beal. And then that's not so bad. We got a, a Maxi debut again. I hit him um, with some discos. Man, it was pretty pretty solid. So I'll throw this guy up over here on, as well. And then we have three sort of hits from the retail side over here and then we'll go ahead and get into the other side which i'm excited to get into and then i'll give you guys a recap of most of like the better ish parallels at least the ones that i caught but if you guys of course see some that i missed that were like really dope then help me out and call them out because you know there might be a rookie that i missed that's worth like five or ten dollars in a parallel that you know i don't even realize just the way it goes because i don't know everything i'm just kind of a hobbyist like you guys out there so uh, anyway, this one, 10 packs, <clears throat> six cards per pack, 10 inserts, 10 parallels. This is uh, from 2019-20, too, so this is not Lamella's year. This is obviously from the year before, so we have uh, autographs. I think this is Ja well, right here, right? And then Swirlaramas would be crazy. Never seen that. And then also some of the other things you can get back here. So looks like base red, blue, white diamonds, Green squares, fireworks, swirlorama, uh, 125 to 1. That would be wild. Signatures, there's not guaranteed autos in here, though. And so on. So there's some nice hits that you can get numbered stuff in here. I think, if I want to remember correctly, in my first box, I didn't get too many uh, numbered things. So if I get anything in here, I'll probably be pretty happy about it. Um, but I bought these from online, and again, if you guys are interested in buying a pack I'll, uh, or a box, I'll link them in the description. Uh, I think this was a Timo. I want to say again, the price on this was about a buck fifty for a box. So Swirlorama, can we see something? I have no idea. I see something back here, but I don't know what the parallel is. There's Lillard for PC. I'll put him down here. There's uh, Jalen Noel, and then there's a Danny Green. Dylan Brooks, and then we have a Brandon Clark New Beginnings here. 
not numbered, but that's a nice looking ish card there. Um, this one, I wonder if this is a different parallel too. Yeah, this one's a little bit different, right? Because it's like not the base one. So maybe I'll throw them over here as well. And then I'll put my Lillard over on that side. So, all right. I'm going to actually grab all these out here. Make it easy for us. And by us, I mean, I mean, all right. Let's see. A little left to pack down there. So, again, this is the status side over here. And trying to get all the packs ready. Got a little tree ready. Actually, I'll put two of these up here just because maybe I'll get something good. Ja would be dope. Zion would be dope. And so the format I don't really understand. So there's a rookie right off the rip there. And then a regular card. There's a Chris uh, Middleton. I'm trying to get all these over here. And then we have... Uh, um, Bog Bogdan, I don't even know how to say his name. I know the dude. I see his name all the time. I just don't know how to say it very well. And then we have a uh, uh, pool, pool party, new beginnings over on this side. And then also this uh, insert right here. Kind of a cool looking insert right here, but uh, not numbered. So then that's uh, Tori Craig. I think the best card I got out of the last one was a Curry, Curry card or whatever. SGA. We have a Mo right here. And then we have um, Melton. I think that's a different one. I can't even remember. I don't even know if it's a base or not. That's a base. All right. All right. Rookie. And then Kelly um, Oborn. And then a Trophy Club. So not anything super super amazing yet but uh but it's a nice looking set like if you guys open this or not leave a comment let me know i think it's a nice looking set um i haven't seen any of it from the the current year is it, i don't even know if they still make it honestly there's joker there's a rook there's pascal and we have the trophy club on this side Kawhi and not numbered on either of these I can tell. So that's the one thing that is a bummer to me. It's just like kind of average sort of stuff. When you rip some sort of hobbyish stuff, like you hope for numbered cards, at least a couple of them, a box, right? And so far, haven't seen too much uh, numbered action. There's Wall healed, and then we have the Kawhi Leonard right here in the status symbols. That's a cool looking card again, but no numbers on that one. Like the look of it though. So I, I don't even know what to put up there as of right now. I don't feel like anything's really calling me out like it needs to go up on a, on a stand. So maybe it needs to happen. We need to find something. So rookie, rookie, rookie. There's Joel. This is hilarious. This is the same exact one that I already got <laughs> from the other box. It's a super dope looking card, but um, it's so nice I got it. Again, that's uh, that's my nod to Mr. Pac-Man. All right, so I don't know, dudes. I don't know. Hopefully, we can get something. An auto would be rad. There is a Mr. Little right there, and then we have another rook, and then we have another rookie, but not one that's notable in my mind. Dirk. Three more packs to make some some, uh, some magic over here. So no Swirlorama love over here. I don't know looks better. I don't know what that is. Uh, but let's see. Colin. There's Lonzo. Joel. Book. Oh, look at this one. Dennis Schroeder to 125. And then Scotty Pippen. Nice to see Pip. This is a crazy looking card. Look at that. That looks fire. 124 of 125. Um, not terrible. Could be better. Could be better. But uh, happy at least we got a numbered card, I guess. I think that's better than I did last time. That that card looks ridiculous. I really like that. It's kind of built with like the larger squares instead of like the little, little ones that get kind of lost in translation as you're looking around. All right, so it looks like we just have some basic Bs over on this side, but maybe not. 
Clark for the rookie. Russell Tatum, Trophy, trophy Club, Trophy Club, Kwai, and then we have um, Siakam there. Siakam's actually, he's crazy good, but a couple of times I've, like, did some draft kings on him, you know, like, he was the one guy that, like, didn't, he was the one megastar that didn't, like, del deliver on the days that I needed him, but the, the dude's ridiculous, so, anyway, Rose, Isaac, KZ, Jalen Noel, and then we have Tyler, Tyler Hero, um, new beginnings there, so that, I mean, that box, a buck fifty for that, I mean, it's just what it is, I mean, honestly, like, you guys already know, that's just the, the live and die of, of, like, buying a box, and not really knowing, there's a rookie right there, I should have put him over there, um, yeah, really knowing what we're looking at there, so I'm gonna look through these one last time, because I'm missing, it, you know, if, if some of these guys are rookies or not, because I haven't opened a lot from this class, uh, and I'm not as familiar as, like, the newer stuff, obviously. Oops. So, that is that. For the recap now, uh, this is some of the inserts over on this side. So, Hero, Kwai, Scotty, Dirk, Buddy, Kwai, Eric, Kwai. <laughs> I got Kwai a lot. Kyrie, Pool. There's a, I don't know why I have this one over here. D uh, Brooks right here. I like that, the look of that one, but again, not numbered. And then uh, a Brandon Clark, New Beginnings. Not terrible in the uh, pink joints right here. Couple dudes. Siakam, uh, Embiid, Kelly, and so on. And then from the side, these are just the rookies and stuff. So if you guys see any that are the best of this class, maybe that guy, uh, drop a, a comment and let me know which one is the best because it doesn't, I mean, most of this stuff is okay. It's not any of the people that I was really hunting and the Lillard for the PC on the back. So that's what we ended up with over on this side other than the numbered 124 of number 125 of the, uh, the Danish uh, Schroeder and then the uh, Curry right here, upper echelon. Love that. Really cool card. But, again, not numbered. And then from the hobby, or the retail side, I mean, this is kind of it. Didn't really do anything too major. Allen Robinson, 2, uh, 19 of 49. Nice to see that. And then Coro and Maxi for the uh, Mosaic Basketball. And then just to recap some of the other parallels and stuff, Beal, Maxi, Bass, and then Harris, Halliburton, Bass, uh, Baca, Hunter, Hampton, Wilkins, Chris Paul, Bede, Fox, Wiseman, Bass. And then for the other side, we had Trevor Lawrence, Bass, Stafford, Devonta Smith, uh, Gilmore, Wallace, Mims, Gibson. And then we had uh, Saquon Barkley in the one parallel there. Uh, up next, or next up, I mean, uh, Dyslexia kicking in there, maybe. And then a couple of the other rookies and stuff. No, like, nothing really majorly noteworthy. But that is, uh, there's a Trey Lansom, I guess, on the back there. But that is that. Not a ton of craziness. But uh, which side did better? I mean, in my opinion, they're both about average boxes. They're just nothing, no stunners. Nothing that's really going to set you back and go, I, I got something nice. But at the end of the day, I think... I still like this rip, even though, I mean, I really like Mosaic football, basketball. Uh, and then, of course, the one numbered card from the one product I didn't like on this side. But um, but I did like, I mean, I do like this Curry card, and it's nice to get a, a numbered card on this status side. But leave a comment, let me know which is the better um, hits, and appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day. Hopefully, we'll see you guys back for some more content. See you guys.